Hey, welcome to the calibration of our Helium HE analyzer, folks. FD-311. Dash HE. This is the little beauty right here we're talking about. So, as you can hear, the pump is off. Turn on the pump, and the first thing you want to be doing is zero calibrating, folks. Zero calibrating to get your baseline in zero point zero. Now, you may purchase this guy, or it's been sitting around, and it's showing a residual 1.0.5. It could be 2.2. What you want to do first is get a zero calibrate to tell it to force it that the baseline, the fresh edge drawing is actually zero helium okay folks so the way you do that is you go into menu screen okay one 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 enter go to zero set press enter and you all you have to do is press the middle button okay middle button save bang congratulations you're done you have zero calibrated this unit the first step is done very easy let's move on to the second step second step is you need your source your CAS calibration, in this case we're using 100% helium, you need your T-piece that splits the source, the source is coming here, okay, 100% helium, and then it gets split in two channels. One channel is just an open line, and this guy will go to the analyzer, so let's plug that in. It's got some residual helium there, folks. It's off, but it's going to clean out the line. And the other end of this T-piece is going to a particle filter. It's just creating a bit of pressure, a bit of pressure. Now, why is a T-piece needed? Well, it's because this has a pump and the T-piece regulates or gives the pump an access point of extra air if needed, if this is restricted, or of little air. If it is restricted or if there's too much air, the source can extinguish from this outlet. Okay, folks, and that ensures the micro pump is that always a constant flow no matter what the source line pressure or flow is at okay folks it's very important to ensure good accurate calibration especially with analyzers with the micro pump okay folks because I know there's all these other ways of doing it with demand flow regulators and things like that but I like doing it the old school way folks and this ensures we're not stressing or limiting the pump okay folks now let's start our span calibration we're gonna tell it the span, the excess or the higher level of helium and what that should look like. Okay, in this case, again, we have 100% helium. Go ahead, turn on your source. Okay. We recommend about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 liters per minute. Okay, folks. Now, we're talking about here 100% of helium. And all you do is you wait a few minutes, let it stabilize. We recommend about 60 minutes because it is, it does have a pump inside. Um, if it's if it's not very um, stable, we recommend a couple of minutes, okay, folks? <clears throat> now, what we do is we go again. Again, this is a span calibration, folks. This is the second step. Go to the middle button here. Press enter. Go one. Press the password, quadruple one, enter. Then you go to calibration, press enter. You've already zeroed it, press enter. Here, normal, you tell it what level of calibration you want. If you have a bottle, that's 90%, you go to 90%. In this case, it's 100%. And I will put in 99.9, .9, just a tad less, just to give it that little headroom. Air rate, which means the air, just enter through. And then you press save and bang, you're done. You told it what 99.9 .9 or 100% of helium actually is, and you have calibrated this guy. Okay, folks, you've told it exactly what that looks like, and it goes up to the calibration point. And that's basically it. You've zero calibrated, you've span calibrated, and you're ready to go. Turn off the helium. <clears throat> Make sure it goes to zero. This is what I personally like to do. Get some verification going. Okay. If you're happy with it going to zero, you just want to check that it's gone to zero. I'm going to reapply my helium, okay, to make sure that it's actually going to go back to where I calibrated at that 99.9 .9 bang, exactly at 99.9. .9. And I have confidence now that this guy is zero calibrated and it is span calibrated. Pretty simple as that, folks. Now, if you're using a 60% helium in air, you will put 60 
when you span or 75 or whatever the case may be depending on your calibration gas of helium okay folks that's the only difference very straightforward make sure you have your t-piece be well be safe and see you soon